the week before. That's me. And as you can see, I'm not having my best day. Here's what happened. People have gotten pretty fast at solving the Rubik's Cube. With competition averages of barely 5 seconds, the records are crazy. But in my country, Belgium, the record is modest, to say the least. It is ranked just 764th in the world. And to make matters even worse, it was set in 2018. And the guy who has the record doesn't even cube anymore. In other words, anyone who is pretty decent at cubing can break this record. Like myself, because if I didn't miss this one turn on the 7 second solve, my average would have been 8.4 seconds and I would have had the Belgian national record. But because of the plus 2, my average was 8.97 seconds, third in Belgium. So let's go a bit back in time, right here. But just one week later, I had another competition coming up. And what happened that day, you will see in this video. What's up, man? What's up? How are you? Wait, isn't the first round of 3x3 happening right now? Yeah. Uh, about to start. You shoot this video quick. Now that uh, being late for your competition isn't a great idea, I got like an accounting 11 seconds, so I think the average is like 10 point something. I'm holding a baguette. Two more rounds, so hopefully I will be able to break the national record in one of those. Yo! Yo! This is why I have social anxiety. But anyways, the national one-handed record single hasn't been beaten for seven years by now. And I'm not great at one-handed as you can see right here, but I just needed one lucky solve to break the 12.65 national record. Like this last one. Why there's no reaction? Well, it's actually 22 seconds and I failed one-handed. Mm -hmm. Now, before we go to the second round of two-handed, I thought maybe I can learn a thing or two from someone who actually has a national record. This is Twan Dulemont and he is fast. I learned that I was slow. The first solve of the second round, I totally messed up. I don't even know the time anymore, but it was bad. Even Twan comforted me. But as you know, the worst time of an average doesn't count, so I still had hope. Until I plus two this solve. You idiot. And when I finally got a good solve, I obviously plus two that one as well. Because I'm Cuphead. It didn't really matter what I did after this, so um, yeah. I just got the worst competition average since like, I don't know how long. Like if I would do a thousand solves on my own, I wouldn't get a single average as bad as this one. But there's still the finals. Before the finals happened, we still had blindfolded. Now, I don't know how to solve a cube blindfolded, so instead I filmed Bruno. But apparently the guy next to him was crazy fast, so I filmed him instead for a second. It only took him 8 seconds to memorize the cube, but he messed up somewhere, so we got a DNF. Yeah. Then I got amazed by the scorecard typer, because his technique is just exquisite. Look at that. Bam, bam, bam. That guy wasn't too happy, so I went back to Bruno. He got a 609, congrats. And during warm-up for the finals, I was getting a bunch of great solves. So I was feeling really hopeful that in finals, something amazing might happen. Because I was messing up a lot in the rounds before, I decided to turn a bit slower, making sure I didn't make any mistakes. And the first solve was pretty decent. The second scramble was pretty great, so I knew exactly what to do. Pretty epic timer stop. 7.5. I suddenly had hope that the national record could be broken. On to the third soul. As you probably know, the fastest and the slowest souls of an average of 5 don't count. So if I wanted to take advantage of the 7.5, I had to have a really low counting time. 
Could it be this one? Slide lockup 9.0. It wasn't great, but we can still work with it. At this point, we just had an 8.8 .8 counting, so I definitely wanted to get something faster than that to try to get closer to the 8.6 of the national record. 8.4. I knew something was going on. My average at this point would be 8.75, only one tenth from the national record. So it all came down to the final solve of the day. I needed an 8.6 or faster to break the national record. The scramble was good, so let's see what happened. So to answer the title of this video, can I break the national record? Not quite. Thanks everyone for the amazing day and thanks for watching this video. I will get the national record next time. If you want to get yourself the cube that I used in the competition or any other puzzle, just go to thecubicle.com and use discount code CUPID for a huge Huge discount. They didn't have any forks at the supermarket, so uh, I bought this wooden spoon. Perfect.